evening and welcome to tonight's very special live episode of Backstage Buzz at the Mac. I'm Diana Martinez and thank you for joining us. It is the perfect night for an outdoor event and we are at the beautiful Lakeside Pavilion at College of DuPage in Glen Ellen. I don't know if you can see the lake from this shot here, but it is gorgeous and the fountain's going. It's a cool summer night. There's a breeze. It's just beautiful. Tonight's concert is the new Philharmonic Orchestra and you are in for a treat. They are the professional orchestra in residence here at the Mackinac Arts Center where we have over a hundred shows each season. You'll have to check them out at atthemac.org. We have free parking, world-class shows from all over, and full-service bars. Take a look at what's coming to the Mac this season. I'm here with Vice Admiral Dr. Anne Rondeau, who is the president of College of DuPage, and we are so lucky she's here tonight, and I want you to meet her. Dr. Rondeau, welcome. Well, thank you very much, Diane. It's wonderful to be here this evening. What a gorgeous evening for this wonderful event. We are super lucky for the weather tonight. Oh, my goodness, yes. It, it, it's just perfect. And the lake is, is gorgeous, as you said. What a wonderful evening tonight. Dr. Rondeau, Congratulations, it's your first anniversary I hear. How are things going? Well, very well, and one of the reasons why it goes so well is that for years and years we've had support of the MAC and all the things that happened in the arts in, on the college campus. And because of your leadership and all of those who have, who have brought this together, we can say that we have this terrific prize within the district and the, and the, the county. We're so happy to have the MAC here. Well, you know, and what I love about this is that we bring in everybody from the district. I think it's so important. Boy, isn't that true? And one of the things that when I first got here a, a year ago was everybody was so protective of what they wanted to preserve of the MAC and wanted me to, to, to also really appreciate what you've done and what, and what your team's done to bring such wonderful art and music and, the, and, and just the live arts to the entire area. This is a treasure. It really is, and we are so lucky to have you. You have really calmed the waters. Being a, a retired vice admiral, you knew how to calm the waters. Well, you know, it was easy because you had a good crew to be able to, 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 to navigate these waters, and the people here are terrific. I cannot tell you what a treasure. Uh, everybody should be listening and appreciating that the treasure here is deep and wide, and so these waters are doing great because of the crew on board. Dr. Rondo, I understand that you are starting an innovation center here in DuPage County. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, a little bit, certainly, and I'm happy to do that. The College of DuPage for over 40 years has actually been doing innovation and acceleration for small businesses around the entire district. And all depends upon what people need and want, but we get grants to help people with the small businesses, not only as a, as a startup, but also to make it accelerated and grow. We are now going into a partnership with Choose DuPage, the county business uh, um, uh, entity, as well as, as Benedictine and possibly Elmhurst, as well as some angel investors to, to really add to the business uh, uh, engine within the district. We're really excited about it. We have lots of experience with it. We've got numbers that show it so that the, the, the supporters are coming forward and saying that we want to be part of this. But what's really interesting, Diana, every single person who wants to invest in this has said, I'm holding my money till I know that truly the College of DuPage is involved. And so we are really excited about this. 
This will be awesome for helping create jobs and opportunities for our students and, and the whole district, won't it? And we'll have more people coming to the MAC events. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, you got to look at this style and hat. I mean, this lady has style and class. Dr. Rondo, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful time here tonight with your family. Well, and I thank you. And again, I thank you for what you've done, Diana. You are pretty special for all of us. And I'm very, very happy to have you on, on this great team. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rondo. Thank you. Well, now you're going to hear from the maestro himself, Kirk Muspratt. He is the conductor for the New Philharmonic Orchestra, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what else you can expect next season from the New Philharmonic Orchestra. It's a wonderful season. Uh, I think it's challenging. It's diverse. It's uh, hopefully imaginative, I hope. Uh, we're starting with the Mahler Fifth Symphony, the enormous, massive Mahler Fifth Symphony, the groundbreaking piece that sort of broke the rules at the very beginning of the 19th century. It has five movements. Uh, the Adagietto is probably the best known piece of music of Mahler, heartbreaking, soulful. But in the beautiful Belushi Concert Hall, that size hall with that enormous size orchestra, it's really going to be a tonal, I don't want to say circus, but it's going to be wild and wonderful. Uh, the second concert of the year in October is upside down from Mahler because it's Rodgers and Hammerstein and it is Andrew Lloyd Webber, uh, music that I very, very much love. We all love whether it's King and I or Carousel or it's Cats or it's Evita. And we'll have four magnificent soloists, really fun soloists with hot pipes. They're really terrific singers. And the Northwest Indiana Symphony Chorus, huge chorus. And it's very touching. And it is, again, I'll use the word fun. One of the wonderful traditions that we do here at Belushi and at the MAC is Ken von Heidecke's Nutcracker. It always sells out. The orchestra plays the kazoo out of the piece. I mean, I love doing this piece because I walk into the pit and they just absolutely get me. And I know the audience really appreciates the orchestra, the live music too, because when I come out for a bow and I give the orchestra a bow, we get wonderful applause. And that's from the little children who are coming to meet Clara or the Sugar Plum Fairy, or from moms and dads and grandpas who really appreciate the beauty of Tchaikovsky's music. Traditional huge celebration that we have is New Year's Eve. Uh, we often sell it out each of the three performances, the afternoon, the early evening, and later in the evening. Uh, I think we have a blast. It is very exciting. It's very close with the audience. I try to play some jokes on you. I try to show you some video clips. We have a wonderful singer, Corey Kreider, is coming to sing with us. And we make it something for everybody, or we try to make it something for everybody. So there, I hear there are Polish people in Chicago. So this year we're going to do a Chopin Polonaise, actually. We're going to do Tchaikovsky. We'll, of course, do Viennese things that are traditional. But by the end of the concert, I'll probably end up with Paul McCartney or something. 2018 for us begins with La Traviata, an opera that we have not done here in about 12 or 13 years. It is, of course, a very popular opera. It is uh, um, heart-rending in, in knowing about Violetta's life and her love and her, you know, her tragic death at the end. It is great Verdi. It's middle period Verdi. Um, I love this piece. It, is, uh, it gets in your gut, especially as Violetta is dying and the tragedy of that time in Paris. In April, we close our season with Wael Farouk, who is a faculty member at Roosevelt University. He has played with us before. He is an astonishing, astonishing, astonishing musician and pianist. Uh, we're going to do something we don't think has been ever done in North America before, and that is in one night, we're going to play all five Beethoven 
concertos, all five. So you can hear very early Beethoven that sounds like Mozartian. You can hear the third concerto that is now breaking all the rules. And you can hear the emperor concerto at the end, which is living in a completely different universe. So Whale's gonna play all five. We're gonna start a little early. We're gonna start at seven o'clock and there'll be some nice pastries and some maybe some German beer and wines and things like that. So it really should be a happening. I'm thrilled, looking forward to our new season, and I want to remind all music lovers that subscriptions are on sale right now, and it's a wise thing to do to buy a subscription because you save 20% off the ticket sales, you also get free ticket exchanges, you get priority seating. We have lots of fun after the concerts with Cookies with Kirk, the musicians come out, we talk about the concerts, we are sort of family. So please think about buying a subscription and joining us for the entire season. It is a wonderful orchestra in a fantastic, beautiful hall. Wow, what a season! Rodgers and Hammerstein, Andrew Lloyd Webber, La Traviata. What an amazing season. And what's really amazing is that we have the real live mus uh, maestro, Kirk Muspratt, right here with us. We snuck back there and grabbed you before the show because we want to know. So tell us a scoop. What should we be listening for tonight? Oh, well, we have all kinds of genres of music. We have classical music, we have ballet music, we have uh, we have Americana, we have some gorgeous Hispanic music, mm -hmm. and we've got movie music. So there's a pastiche of everything, hopefully something for everything, everyone. You always put together an awesome night. Thank you. So, Kirk, tell us, what would be like the most difficult piece that we're gonna hear tonight for you and for the orchestra that you've really been working hard on? Well. We had one rehearsal this afternoon and we didn't even do all of the pieces. We just did spots because the orchestra is so good. But I was saying to you earlier today off camera that all the John Williams music is virtuosic music. And I said to you, I remember earlier, that Harry Potter is absolute murder as a piece. It's got so many notes and it's right at the edge of what a person could do on their instrument. It's like playing Richard Strauss or Puccini or something like that. It's really tough stuff. Now, it shouldn't sound that way. You know, it should sound like Harry Potter. You know, but it's really hard. The Cowboys Overture of John Williams, right on the edge. Like, it's very difficult stuff. So this is challenging. That's what oh. we took. So I'm thinking, oh, the Harry Potter's the fun music. You're like, no, it's the hard music. No, no, ask them after. They'll say, no, no, my fingers, my lips, my arms were all, you know, yeah, it's really tough music. Kirk, this has been a great year for you and the orchestra. You won Orchestra of the Year. How does it feel? Uh, it's very gratifying. I think our musicians deserve it. They're the top musicians in Chicago. They're devoted to this place. I think they're really devoted to the history of our orchestra, to the MAC, to our DuPage County, and to the college. Um, they're wonderful people. They care, and it's a pleasure and an honor to conduct them. It's really a gift to have a professional orchestra right here in DuPage County. I mean, that's unusual to have an orchestra of this size and stature, isn't it? Absolutely. And I, we're the only professional orchestra in the county. And you may know of another college that has a professional orchestra in residence, but I don't. And then to have the beautiful Belushi Hall to play in, because it is a gem of a hall. It's just a gem. It is a gift, and, and tonight is our donors. Our donors are here to support to support you and support the MAC, and it truly is the gift that keeps on giving. It is. Because they give this gift to our whole community, and everybody gets to enjoy it. And it's jammed. I mean, if you looked around here, there's not a, people are sitting on each other's knees. And it's a beautiful night. But it is a way for people to just come together and have a beautiful, quality evening and enjoy our company and come together as a community, which I think the college does a great job at. I do too, and I love these nights because it's it's not about you know all the politics and this and that. It's just about 
being together and enjoying the weather. Because yeah. in Chicago, we don't get a lot of nice nights like this. <laughs> and, and, you know, it feels like family. I was just talking to Mike, who's going to come on the camera in a minute, and he said that one of the things he loves about this is it feels like family with the musicians, with the patrons, with the crew, everyone. So uh, it is a great feeling. You don't get it everywhere. Kirk, you do an awesome job. Break a leg tonight. I can't wait to see the show because and listen, it's always spectacular. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Listen to Harry Potter. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Break a leg. Thanks a lot. Thank you. John Slovis is on the dance faculty at College of DuPage, and he's going to tell you about the exciting programs happening in dance at College of DuPage. Take a look. The student at College of DuPage loves to dance, and that's why I love to teach here. Um, they, no one is taking class because they're forced to. Everyone is choosing to, and that's a, a great aspect of a dancer. Um, I teach classes with a wide variety of levels. I have many, many beginners who just go in and try it. And then I have a lot of dancers who could potentially be professional dancers and are just supplementing their training. It's very exciting to have a short period of time with a student to really get them prepared for their next step, whether that is teaching at a studio, you know, auditioning for another school, or whether that's just to dance around. Um, so my relationship with the students has really grown. I have many students who have taken all of my classes for all three years and continue to stick around. Even when they go to another university for their degree, they still come take dance class with me, which is really exciting. Call to DuPage Dance offers a wide variety of classes. We primarily offer modern jazz and ballet. Uh, we do offer musical theater dance as well as tap. Um, and within that, we also offer dance production and performance, which gives a great opportunity for students to perform on campus, as well as the option to choreograph. So there's a wide variety of ways to get involved in the dance program. You can just join a class, which has no pressure to perform. There are beginning level classes, as well as more advanced. And as I said, there's a wide variety of students in each class, which makes it very exciting for the students, as well as the, the teachers. And those classes, are offered during the day or as well as night. If you're interested in performing, we do a placement class at the beginning of each semester, which just gives us an idea of the variety or the history of people's dance abilities. And we really do want anyone that wants to perform, we give them the opportunity to perform in at least one piece. The first opportunity to see the dancers perform this summer is the choreography showcase and competition. This year, the performance is on July 29th, and it does feature choreography by myself and danced by the students. In addition to that, it is a competition for choreographers throughout the Chicagoland area. So I had many submissions this year. We as a faculty decide the best seven, and then those seven will perform at this performance, and we have three judges who will decide the winners. And they are actually competing for cash prizes, as well as the opportunity to perform with our students in the fall and spring show. The fall show this year is in November, and it's always an opportunity for the community to see what our students have been working on. It's always a fantastic show, always features the students, the student choreography, faculty choreography, as well as some guest artists. There's also an opportunity to see the students perform in the spring. There's the spring showcase, which is normally at the end of April and it's a great chance to see all the variety of dances that the students perform, as well as some student choreography. The fall and spring showcases that the students perform in are both performed in the Mac Belushi Theater, which is an incredible world-renowned theater. It's an amazing opportunity for them to perform in a large stage with a huge lighting plot, using a professional lighting director and a professional costumer. This is something that many universities across the country don't have access to. So it's a great opportunity for those students to perform in a big space. And then also it's a great opportunity for our community to see the next generation of dancers. If 
you're just joining us, we are here live at the beautiful Lakeside Pavilion at the College of DuPage. It is a perfect night for an outdoor concert. And I hope that you can join us real soon for one of these. We do them every Thursday and Friday night here behind the Mackinac Art Center at the College of DuPage campus. And we have jazz on Thursday nights and concerts on Friday nights. We have we family movies early in the summer for the kids. So come out to one of these. They're free. We have free parking and it's close to home. Now, another thing we have is awesome food. We have Weber Grill, Heavenly Hot Dogs, Nothing But Cakes, I Have a Bean, and then we have popcorn and snacks for the kids, or you can bring your own picnic, and we have cocktails and beer for sale as well. So come out and join us one of these weekend nights. I now want to introduce you to Mike McCoy. Mike is actually one of my favorite donors. He's a subscriber, he sponsors shows, he supports the Mackies on our cultural advisory board. And I wanted you to meet someone from the community to just hear from him why he comes to the Mac, why he joins us here at these events. So please welcome Mike McCoy. Hi. One thing, right, that leads me to the Mac, and the new Philharmonic is awesome. Buffalo Theater Ensemble, I love them. The acts, the performers that come to the main stage, the variety is crazy, and the quality standard is out of this world. But the reason I come is that you folks at the MAC treat us in the audience like we're part of the family. Maestro Muspratt comes out at the end and serves cookies, and he takes questions and answers them at intermission. The Buffalo Theater people come down to the hallway and meet us. I have met everyone uh, from Hal Holbrook to the violinist from the Chicago Symphony, David Taylor, when he was here is the thing. It is that feeling of being part, even though all I'm doing is paying up for a ticket and sitting in the audience that makes it worthwhile. Well, I think it's accessibility, right? You know, you get, we try to bring you closer to the art forum, closer to the artists, and, and I think that it's, it's nice because it's close to home, and it's, and it's a different experience. It's, you get a little step closer with the Mac chats and things. It is, the parking is free, and I live half, an hour, half a mile from here. Uh, compared to going to Symphony Center, this is such an easy trip, and um, it's everything that happens here is wonderful. Oh, well, thank you. And you know what else? It makes our community better, right? Because if you have a culturally vibrant community, I think that it, it just benefits everything. Well, it does. And it's a, it's a reason for people to focus on DuPage County rather than on the city of Chicago. And anybody who's tried to drive down knows how much easier it is to attend a symphony out here than down there. And I don't think people realize how much culture we have right here at home. Uh, absolutely not. And I think one of the things that's fascinating is to learn that the CSO is thinking about maybe coming out here. So a lot of people understand that there are people who appreciate the arts and who are willing to support it, who live in Glen Ellen, Wheaton, Naperville, DuPage County. It's a great place. Mike McCoy, thank you for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Always do. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, speaking of arts and artists in DuPage County, did you know there are over 200 artists and arts organizations in DuPage County? It's unbelievable. And we've just started a new organization called Arts DuPage. And here to tell you about it is Debbie, who is our new director of Arts DuPage. Take a look. Arts DuPage is a new incentive through the DuPage Foundation, which is a philanthropic group. And it started uh, about two years ago with a study. And the information that they gleaned from the study is just amazing. There's 2,300 art organizations in the county. There's 26 nonprofit organizations, and they bring in over $16 million worth of um, income through the course of the year. There's cultural. Um, events, there's plays, there's concerts, there's art exhibits, there's so much art and culture going on in the community and people just don't know about it. Say you're sitting at home and you're just like, what am I going to do tonight? There's nothing to do. Well, there is something to do. You go to Arts Do Page and through our different tabs there's going to be things like music, 
there's classes you can take, there's exhibits, there's theater, and you just click on whatever you want and there'll be a full listing of the events that are going on. Arts to Page really wants to build and empower the artist and give them um, some training, give them some um, help so that they can do what they do on a better scale and then also engage the community and bring the community and the artists together to really enforce the visibility of arts in DuPage County. For artists, venues, or anyone wanting to post on the site, they need to go to artsdupage.org um, and the instructions are there. You usually just have to set up your artist profile and put in your information. Um, it's user friendly and we tried to make it very easy so that um, people are encouraged to use it more than once, use it again and again. And we know how cumbersome it can be to keep posting your information on site after site after site. And our goal is to make artsdupage.org the site to go to because it'll have a comprehensive list of all the events in DuPage County. And if you really think about it, the arts add so much to your life. You see beauty in everything that you do. It's around you. Um, art bridges cultures and art brings people together. Um, if you want to take it on a, a bigger scale, if you have an event at the MAC, what's going to happen? People are going to come to the MAC, but they might want to grab dinner before, or grab a drink afterwards. People that attend your event are going to spend money right in the community so they're going to build, you know, they're going to support the merchants and they support your efforts in the arts. Um, it's an enjoyable experience. It, it spawns creativity. It, it spawns goodwill. It, there's so many different levels of, of things that the, um, the arts can do for a community. So art really impacts every avenue of your life. It's, it's part of your humanity. Because we are filming live on WDCB TV. The college has our own professional TV station that runs on cable. So do me a favor, look at the camera, and say hi to all the folks at home. See, we're real. We're all doing this right now, all together. Welcome for those of you at home watching. The New Philharmonic Orchestra is the orchestra here in residence at the College of DuPage. They are a professional orchestra. They're all paid. They're all professional musicians who come from all over. This orchestra was just awarded Orchestra of the Year. So you are in for a treat because you are seeing the Orchestra of the Year. And the reason they are Orchestra of the Year is because they're wonderfully dedicated musicians and because they have a wonderful maestro. And we are lucky to have him as ours. Please welcome Maestro Kirk Muspratt. <laughs> 